You may have heard of social proof, but do you understand how the bias actually works? In this video, I'm gonna share exactly how to use social proof to close more. What's happening, Flowtech Connector? Back at you with another high ticket tune up here for you to learn with a little bit more some flow chat sales coaching. Excited to be here today. Make sure to smash that like button, feed this out to the algorithm gods because today we're going to talk about the social proof bias. And that's going to be fun because most people don't actually understand what it is and how it works. And, and so today I'm going to give a deep dive in less than five minutes on how it actually works. So, first and foremost, let's dive in and define it what is social proof uh social proof is this here's the actual definition the principle of social proof states that one important means that people use to decide what to believe or how to act in a situation is to look at what other people are believing or doing there right so it's a very simply monkey see monkey do i guess that's the easiest way to put that i hate to say those words but it's like you see somebody that looks similar to you or feel you know like doing the thing and you're like oh i should try that too right so that's social proof very, very simple. Well, how do we use it? Well, first and foremost, we got to understand this. It can be used to stimulate a person's compliance with the request by informing the person that many other individuals, the more the better, are or have been complying with it. Meaning, if you say, hey, so-and-so uses it, or look at all these other people that are using it, or, or check out what happened for this person after they used it, right? The before and after results thing in the, in the gym space. And so that's really the focus. And there's two conditions under which the social proof bias works better than than anywhere else. The first one is called uncertainty. And this is when people are unsure when the situation is ambiguous, they are more likely to attend to the actions of others and to accept those actions as correct. So if we remember back with Eugene Schwartz, when we were talking about Eugene Schwartz's level of awareness, if somebody is unaware, it typically equates to being unsure. So the less aware your prospects are about your agency and your services, the more unsure um, they're going to be about you. And so it's not until you start to warm this up. One of the best ways to do that is say case example, case stories, use them in your sales conversations, very important. And the second condition under which social proof will help you to close more is similarity. People are more inclined to follow the lead of similar others. How do we apply this? Well, when we apply this in a conversation, we talk about you could go down the rabbit hole of who do you know in the space? Maybe you have some other clients that are similar to them. Again, this is where we start to tell a lot of social stories, especially in our sales conversations, because if we can dive in into our sales conversation and say, well, you know what, you actually remind me of Jill, or you remind me of Scott because right, and all of a sudden that person is is like, whoa, this person is telling me that I remind them of someone else that's already gotten these results and helpful. That is how you use the social bias to actually close more in your conversations. With that said, you just been tuned up. It was less than five minutes, like I promised. Flowchat Connector, please make sure and smash that like button, share this out to those other people on the planet that need this. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now.